What's up everyone? Today we're going to be opening up a box of Assassin's Creed from Universes Beyond, which is super exciting. But I have another product from Universes Beyond to open up as well. We have a box topper from Lord of the Rings, which is super exciting. We're going to jump right into that and uh, hope we get some really good stuff. Stay tuned. Alright, so there are obviously a lot of big hits with the uh, Lord of the Rings um, box toppers, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Let's hope we hit some of those nice big ones. Here we go. Make sure I'm in camera here. There we go. And we have Bajuka Bog, Barrow, da Barrow Downs. Is that like super shiny? Yeah. Oof. Foiling on that is intense. Let's see if I can't. <laughs> There we go. Alright, I think the foiling going forward won't be so bad, but uh, there we go. Not bad. I'm sure my wife will be really excited about that. She plays uh, Bajuka Bog in tons of things, so that's really cool. Alright, there we go. We'll keep our uh, we'll keep our money cards up here going forward, and we'll um, kind of put most of the, the shash elsewhere. There we go. Let's try to get this open. Huh. Okay. Now I do have a price list in front of me, but I'm not overly uh, knowledgeable about how the prices are doing right now for uh, this product here. Not oh, whatever. So if you see me uh, looking over to my screen, that's what we're doing here. So these are weird seven card packs. Not sure why they did that, but um, my local game store actually let us draft a pack of this before we did a Modern Horizons 3 pack. It just added a little bit of fun to it, so that was super exciting. Okay, let's get like up there. Here we go. Nope, the lighting's still not being fun with me. There we go. So we have Petty Larceny. This is a free running card, which is a new mechanic from uh, from this set. You may cast this spell for its free running cost if you dealt combat damage to a player this turn with an assassin or a commander. So that's pretty cool. Um, this one just lo lets you look at some cards. Haystack. This is a, I've heard this one is going to be pretty popular. Target creature you control phases out. Just protect your commander or whatever else you need to protect. Uh, one of the lands just helps you cast assassin spells. We got a sweet swamp. Oh man, I love these full arts. They've been doing a fantastic job with these recently. Crystal Skull. Spyglass, okay. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You can play historic lands or cast historic spells from the top. And it taps for a blue. Eh, that's not bad. Pretty cool. Oh, oh foil path to exile. That is sweet. Foiling there is a little... Oh, there we go. <laughs> not bad. I like that one. We'll put that over here. Okay. Uh, we have uh, one of the assassins. This one's okay. And I don't know what that's for. Okay. That's for me to pick up later off the ground. That's what that's, what that's going to be. I'll see if I'm peeking off of that. Nope, I'm not. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, here we go. We got an art card. Alright, free running. Draw three cards for two mana. So if you hit with the commander, you just get to draw three cards for two mana? Alright, that card's sweet. I don't remember reading that one. Destroy target tapped creature and opponent controls. Okay, it's just a fun saga. Terminate! That's a good one. Not worth anything, but it's a good one for every commander player to have, and that art is fantastic. Man, these basics. <sighs> Love them. Okay, our rare... What is that symbol? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce Unpronounceable assassin from in uh, Esper. So that's pretty cool. As long as this thing hasn't dealt damage yet, it has hexproof and can't be blocked. So it gets one attack in. Okay. It deals combat damage to a player. Create a dude with menace. Return equipment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. We have a foil uncommon assassin here and our special card here death touch other assassins you control get plus two plus up oh, okay cool and our art card very nice very nice gotta love the art from this set i'm not like 
huge into Assassin's Creed. I've played it a little bit. Not certainly not as much as like Fallout or some of the other uh, Universes Beyond products. Okay, we have a vehicle with Island Walk. I mean, that's sweet. About time they did something like that. Uh, another. Okay, so this isn't an assassin. It as long as it attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. As long as this thing has two or more counters, it has first strike, and it becomes an assassin. Okay, that's cute. Another free running spell. Put three basic lands. Two of them onto the battlefield. The other into your hand. Okay. I mean, it's it's like uh, what is that? Nissa's something or other. Okay, not bad. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Here's our rare. Layla, Lay Layla. I don't know. Hassan, first strike, three four for four mana. When it enters the battlefield, and whenever one or more assassins you control deal combat damage to a player, return target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, cool, cool. So obviously, the uh, historic. Um, mechanic is key to this stuff, which makes sense uh, with the story of Assassin's Creed. Okay, we have a Phantom Blade. This is a, an equipment that destroys a creature. Oh, we have the Sweet Treasure Token. Oh, I grabbed two cards there. We also have uh, this thing. Uh, hard to block. At the beginning of your end step, surveil X, where X is the number of tapped assassins you control. Okay, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. You can get a little higher there. That's pretty much what we want, right there. Okay, and then the cool treasure token. Okay, probably speed up a little bit here. Got a lot to go through. This box is bigger than I thought it was, but I guess with seven cards, it goes pretty quickly, huh? Okay. Whoa. There we go, hook blade, okay. There's a battlefield attached to a creature. Uh, has flying on your turn. Nah. Okay. Saga that is interesting. Not a big fan of sagas, to be honest. Coastal piracy. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. Okay. We've seen that effect many, many times before. Sweet forest. Rest in peace. That's a good one. There we go. Hey, and this is the only card that I was looking forward to from this set for uh, my commander decks. Uh, this just goes really well in my Frodo food deck because you can't really block Frodo, so um, it goes really well there. So you just every turn get to scry two and draw some cards. Oh, ho! there it is. We have a foil triad here. This is one of the chase rares. Uh, where are we at on that? So yeah, regular one's $9, so yeah, this one's, uh, that's pretty sweet. That's a full art foil. That's ah, awesome. Definitely goes up here. And we got a fancy art card. Okay. Huh, okay, another Phantom Blade. Okay, we're going to start seeing some more, uh, repeats here. Okay, escape detection, free running, return a blue creature you control to its owner's hand. Return a target creature to its owner's hand, draw a card. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So it's a free bounce spell. Uh, except you have to bounce one of your own things, which, I mean, you can really definitely find something to do that with. I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of historic thing. We target artifact card from your hand. Yeah, okay. Pretty cool. Mountain. Oh, we got a mythic. Cassandra Eagle Bearer. That's a sweet name. Haste 2-2. Two, two, red, white, and a colorless. Gets you an assassin warrior. When it enters the battlefield, search your graveyard, hand, and library for a card named the Spear of Leonidas. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Whenever a creature you control with a legendary equipment attached to it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay, wow, that's... They are really pushing this, uh, these uh, equipment decks. That's really cool. I like that card. Put that up there. We have a foil coastal piracy. Very cool. And another one of these guys. I'm not even trying to get these names right, so don't expect that. Wow, that. Yeah, white. 
One of these days I'll get this lighting right. Okay, restart sequence. This is one, uh, the return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. All right, so it's a reanimate. Very cool. Another equipment. Uh, makes it an assassin. Equips for cheap. It has ward two. Okay. That's uh. And, oh, and the creature can't be blocked. Okay, that's I missed that. Okay, that's important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Breaker of chains. Cool. Oh, wow, I just grabbed, like, three cards there. <laughs> Another swamp. The Animus is our rare. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one target legendary creature card from a graveyard with a memory counter on it. Until your next turn, target legendary creature you control becomes a copy of target creature card in exile with a memory counter on it. Only at sorcery speed. Okay. Very cute. We have our foil is sh oh good lord Xiao Jun I don't know if I'm butchering these I apologize. Human assassin three three as long as it's your turn it has flying and first strike. Tap two untapped artifacts you control deal one damage to each opponent. Okay cool cool. Oh this guy looks sweet goodness. Just gotta get a look here. All right that guy's really cool. All right so we have a for a Naya. We get a rare 3-3 three, three, Vigilance Trample Lifelink. It's a legendary creature, human warrior. He has Boast. For one mana, put a lore counter on target Saga you control, or remove one from it. Okay, that's real sweet. And whenever you put a counter on a Saga you control, put a plus one plus one counter on up to one other target creature. That card's really cool. I like that a lot. I don't know if it's worth anything, but we're going to put it there just, just for funsies. Cool, cool. Ah. Okay. Now we're definitely going to have to speed up here. Whoa. At this point, I'm probably just going to read the rares. And maybe some cards that interest me. We got a Saga. Fall of the First Civilization. Murder! That seems good in Assassin's Creed deck. Uh, set. Okay, we have a Lydia. I think we already saw that. Mountain? Sick mountain. Goodness. All right, our rare is Unpronounceable Thing. Human Assassin, legendary creature for a blue and a black, 2-2. Two, two. When you cast a historic spell, draw a card. This thing can't be blocked this turn. Triggers once. Whenever this thing does combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay, not bad. I like um, when my commanders draw cards, so I'm not... Yeah, and especially for historic spells in blue, that's pretty good. Fall of the First Civilization, again, okay. Shay Cormac, I think? Oh, good lord, I'm so bad at names here. Very cool. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... There we go. Just having a hard time getting them out of it. The... They put them in these really small boxes, which makes sense for multiple reasons, but it just makes it a little bit harder to get them out. All right, Hidden Foot Blade, Becoming Anonymous, Hunter's Bow, Sick Island, aha, we got another cap Capital Line Triad, there we go, sweet, Origin of the Hidden Ones, man, I'm just so bad at these names. And a cool art card. Cool, cool. That's two of that one mythic. Please. There we go. Okay. Assassin Initiate. Heard someone talking about that one being really good. Mortify. Reconnaissance. Uh, we were talking about this in the draft that we got to open this pack with because uh, someone opened a Nadu. So it was like, you could, yeah, you guys get, the, you get it, you get it, it's gross. Okay, our rare, the Spear of Leonidas. Hey, we can, we can go find that with the, what was it, this thing, right? Yeah. We got them both. Whee! Cool, cool. Let's read this. Figure out what this card actually does. Whenever equipped Creature attacks, choose one. It gains double strike until end of turn. Create 
a 3-2 red horse creature token, or discard two cards, then draw two cards. Not bad. When you're searching it up for free, that's pretty cool. Got another Hunter's Bow in foil. That guy. And a mysterious creature. I think this box is doing pretty good. Like I said, I'm not great with the name, so I might be missing some uncommons and stuff that are worth, worth some things. Smoke Bomb. Templar Knight. I imagine this one's going to be worth a bunch because it has the text, a deck may can have any number of cards named Templar Knight. Generally, anything with those in them uh, are worth a few dollars at least. Another one of these. I think that's like our fifth one. Good lord. Forest. Our rare is Sean and Rebecca. A Bant and a Colorless gets you a 4-4 Human Assassin Scientist. Okay, Vigilance. When this thing enters the battlefield, search your graveyard hand and library for a card named the Animus and put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. We, we opened that earlier. Add a Colorless. When you do, mill two cards. Okay, not bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a third... Triad. This one is a regular foil. Goodness. Sheesh. Assassin. Hey! It's the legendary 3-2 horse. Well, I already know what the name of this freaking video is going to be. There's... There we go. Hemlock Vile, a Loyal Inventor, Arno, Swamp, Desmond, oh my god, did you guys see that? I accidentally revealed it, goodness, Escape Detection, a fourth triad, and uh, hey, we have the uh, emblem, goodness. All right, so now we have two full arts and two regulars, one foil of each. Okay. Because it's seven cards, like maybe that's a normal thing to expect. I don't know. Overpowering attack. Go for the throat. Good removal spell. Bleeding effect. Island. Cover of Darkness. That is our rare. Okay. Colorless and a black gets you an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type have fear. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I like that card. Oh. Okay, we have Socrates. Alright. We have a Socrates. That is a rare. Okay, sorry. A colorless blue... And a white gets you a 0-4. Human advisor, legendary creature, defender. Has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Tap him. Until end of turn, target creature gains. If this creature would deal combat damage to a player, prevent that damage. This creature's controller and that player each draw half that many cards rounded down. Okay. That card's sweet. I'm going to put that over there. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's cool. It's in foil. Our 15th, this thing. This one's in full art. Very cool. We have an assassin with menace. Okay, tax collector. <coughs> Excuse me. Hidden magister. Another piracy. Another sweet mountain. Our rare is a... This guy. Human assassin. 3-4 with double strike for three colors. A red and a white. As long as it's your turn, other historic creatures you control have double strike. And it has disguise. Okay, not bad. Cathartic reunion. That's a good one. In foil. This guy. Breaker of chains. And a really cool art card. Cool, cool. clear some of these out of the way. We'll leave the uh, the good 
expensive fun cards out. Now let's get let's get that guy out of the way. Socrates can't be covering our five triads. Towering viewpoint, assassin gauntlet, archers, planes. Okay, our rare is uh this thing, staff of Hermes. It's a uh, equipment, two colors and a white creature. Equipped creature has lifelink. Oh yeah, this one. I remember reading this one. I thought this one was pretty good. As long as you have 30 or more life, equipped creature gets plus 5, plus 5, and has indestructible and prevent all damage that would be dealt to this creature. Equipped for 2 white. Very good. That card's cool. We have a saga. This guy. And I'll throw that over there. Okay. Chain Assassination. Destroy target creature. If another creature died this turn, draw a card. Okay, that card's cool. A Path to Exile. Nice. This guy again. Another forest. Yidrasil. Rebirth Engine is a mythic. Three colorless. Gets you legendary artifact. When it enters the battlefield, exile all creature cards from your graveyard. Okay. Tap it. Exile the top three cards of your library. Weird. Four colorless, tap it, put a creature card exiled with this thing onto the battlefield under your control. It gains haste, activate only as a sorcery. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, I like that. Put that over there. Regalia is our foil, and this guy again. Looks like a lot of the commanders are the big hits from this, and sort of Feast and Famine. Okay. Which makes sense. Alright, Origin of the Hidden Ones. Again, another Tax Collector. Another Shay. Nurturing Peatland. That's a sweet rare. I didn't know that was there. Awesome extended art here. Uh, this is one of the Horizon Lands. So you can pay a life and add a green and a black in this case. Or you can pay one, tap this, sacrifice it, and draw a card. Classic card. Very good. Desynchronization. I actually had this in that draft I was telling you guys about. Two colors, blue, blue. Return each non-land permanent that's not historic to its owner's hand. It's very good for me. Another bleeding effect. Another one of these guys. And another treasure token. Cool. Whoa. Smoke bomb. Nice. Fatal push. Classic this thing. So bad with names. Swamp. Mary Reed and Annie Bonnie. Bonnie? Okay. Is Oh, that's our rare. Colorless. Blue and a red. 3-3. Three, three. For legendary creature. Human assassin pirate. That's awesome. Haste. Draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever you discard an island, pirate, or vehicle card, create a tapped treasure token. Okay, I like that. I like that. Hook blade. This guy for the third time. And a sweet art. Man, I still can't believe these silly triads. Okay. Phantom Blade. Loyal Inventor. Another Terminate. Nice. Island. Assassin's Trophy is our rare. Sweet. A black and a green gets you an instant. Destroy target permanent and opponent controls. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. Basically, kill anything. That's a sweet one. I've played that a lot, especially in Commander. Uh, okay. More of all these. We have a signed art card this time. Cool. Fall of the First Civilization. Hidden Footblade again. Another Headquarters. Planes. Excalibur, Sword of Eden. I'm assuming this is a... Oh my gosh, 12 mana? Okay. 12 colorless gets you a legendary artifact equipment rare. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total, no, total mana value of historic permanence you control. Okay, okay. It gets a lot cheaper when you start making uh, mana rocks. That's cool. Equipped creature gets plus 10, plus 0, and has Vigilance. 
The equip cost of two, but only to a legendary creature. Okay, cool. Foil Reconnaissance, this guy, and a human rogue. With a, okay, sweet tie. Assassin Gauntlet, dropping stuff. Revelations of SEO, I don't know. This guy, Mountain. Conspiracy, that's our rare. Three colors, black, black. Choose a creature type when it enters. Creatures you control are the chosen type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Okay, we've seen this type of card before. Pretty sure it was blue, though. Interesting. All right, we have a rare foil here. Jacob Fire Fry. I don't know. Sorry. Two colors and a black gets you a partner. Okay. Human Assassin 3-2. Partner with, I'm assuming, the other fire. Whenever one or more assassins you control deal combat damage to a player, exile up to one target assassin card or card with free running from your graveyard. If you do, copy it. You may cast the copy. That's sweet. Now, do we get the other card, the partner here? No, we don't. We get the awesome bird again. Cool. We already read that one, so this one's just a fun art. Oh, don't cover the triads. I'm putting this here, but... It's probably not worth anything. I think I just like it. Okay, Towering Viewpoint. Haystack. Again, I think that one's going to be pretty popular. Propaganda. Classic. Two colors and a blue gets you an enchantment. Creatures can't attack you unless they pay two for each creature they're attacking you with. Forest. Jackdaw. Okay. We have a vehicle for a colorless, a blue and a red. 4-4. Four, four. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw a card for each artifact you control. Crew 3. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Another flip blade. Another one of these guys. And our token's an assassin. All in all, this, pack, uh, this box is going pretty well, I think. Not sure. We have a lot of mythics. Petty Larceny. Viewpoint synchronization. Oh yeah, that's the uh, you know, search for three basics. Cathartic reunion. Swamp. This guy. Yep. Two colors green green for a 3-3 three, three human assassin. Death touch. Whenever a creature you control with death touch deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on that creature. Disguise for a black and a green. Okay, really cool. So this is a black green commander. It goes really well with, I think it's like Finn or something. The Death Touch commander guy that everybody's running. Really popular. This thing. Is this not the... Okay, there are a bunch of these fry things or whatever. However you pronounce it. Okay, we have two more packs. Very cool. Here, let's just pull that out of there. Throw that on the floor. Okay, second to last pack. Here we go. Monastery Raid, Reconstruct History, this guy, Breaker of Chains again, Island, another damn bird, cool, Eagle Vision is our uh, foil, I still like that card a lot, I'm probably going to try it in something, uh, this guy, and a copy token, alright last pack, wish us luck, here we go, can we get our fifth triad, okay, Oh, I'm nervous. Here, let's just, uh... Okay. Become anonymous. This cool vehicle. Murder. Mountain. Okay, here we go. Sword of Feast and Famine. And that's how you do it, everyone. That's how you do it. You just wait to the last pack, then you get the good one. For Sword of Feast and Famine. Three colors. Equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from black and green. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card, and you untap all lands you control. Equip for two. Classic card, amazing. Hard to beat. We also have a foil murder. Our 27th copy of this guy. 
Sorry, gal. There we go. Well, that pack uh, ended dramatically. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, the four triads here, the Feast and Famine, Excalibur. We've got a uh, Horizon Land, Path to Exile and Foil. This was a pretty decent box. Pretty, pretty excited about all that. Well, we'll be opening more product coming up soon. Also, stay tuned for some really awesome videos uh, that we have planned. A lot of uh, limited coming up, talking about the new sets and all that stuff. So stay tuned. Please hit the like button. Give me some engagement. I really appreciate it if you do. And it doesn't hurt you that much. You know, it's not like it's a big cost for you. So I really appreciate it if you do that. Take it easy, guys. See you next time.